Hey, what's happening guys? It's Sean Anthony here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you five little known places to find good, solid vertical niches and industries for you to get into. Now, I know I did a previous video on the best vertical niches or ones that I think that are good to get into, but this is gonna be a little different. I still get questions every single day of people asking me, how do I know what's a good vertical industry? How do I know that this is a good one? How do I find these industries to begin with? You already told us some examples of some, but how do I actually find it for myself? So that's gonna answer that question. I'm gonna show you five sites that you can use to do research and find good high ticket vertical industries and what I look for personally to, to pick some of these out, right? So you're gonna see my thought process and you're gonna see how I walk through this and some good solid websites that you can use to do this, right? So let's jump right into it. What's going on guys in this free training or this free video, I'm gonna go over five little known secret places that you can find good vertical niches to get into if you're selling any kind of digital services, right? Now, this is gonna be especially useful if you're selling any kind of marketing or lead generation or growth related services because all these niches, if you can help them get a sale or get more customers or get more clients, that's what every business wants, right? So if you are selling anything related to that, this is gonna be especially beneficial to you. Now, uh, you might be asking, why, I'm doing, why am I doing another video on vertical niches? I've already done this. Well, this is still the number one question I get is, people will PM me every single day asking me, is this a good niche? Is that a good niche? How do you find good niches? How do you get, find good industries that need this kind of service? Well, this is to answer that, right? I'm gonna show you and walk you through my thought process so you can get your brain juices flowing, right? You're still gonna have to do your own research and all that stuff, but this should get your brain juices flowing so that you at least have some kind of idea of what you can go into, right? Now there's three main things that I look for when I'm picking vertical industries or vertical niches. Number one, high ticket sales, right? Meaning if I get a sale for them or if I help them get one sale, what, what is that worth to them? What is that one customer worth? And if it's worth like 20 to 50 bucks, like a restaurant, then I might not go into that, right? But if it's like thousands to tens of thousands, sometimes even hundreds of thousands of dollars, well, if that's what one customer's worth to them, then those are the kind of industries that I like to get into, okay? Number two is, is it owner operated? Meaning, can I talk directly to the founder or the owner of the company? Why is that important? Well, I don't wanna talk to 10 different people before I can get the decision maker on the phone, right? I don't wanna talk to all these gatekeepers or all these people in between, all these directors and VPs and all this stuff and all the red tape. I wanna talk directly to the owner of the company because they make the decision, the, the, the decision on whether to move forward or not, right? So that's number two. And number three is, do they have money? Are they already paying money for certain types of similar services? So all these niches, the reason I say marketing, advertising, and SMMA, drop servicing, whatever it is, those are gonna benefit most because if you're selling any kind of services, these industries are already paying for those types of services, okay? So let's jump into it right now. What is the first vertical or what is the first website where you can find good vertical niches and industries? Well, it's homeadvisor.com. You've probably heard of this. It's all local pros for home projects and construction related industries. So what I like to do is, I'll scroll down here and click on view all categories. And you're gonna see all these different categories here, right? So what you can do is click show more and it's gonna show you all these sub niches or sub industries within these categories, right? So what would I go after? We were actually in the kitchen remodel industry before, but bathroom remodel, basement remodel, kitchen remodel, garage remodel, renovation of rooms within a house, right? Uh, outbuildings and structures, what else we got here? Swimming pool remodels, home solar energy, household chores, I might not do that. Uh, or maybe furniture assembly, packing and unpacking services, that might be interesting. Lifting and moving heavy items, uh, depends on if they're moving houses for rich people, right? But um, that could be good, I, I might not go into that. Let's see what else we like here. Now, just so you know, personal preference for me is B2B, business to business. These are all kind of, I mean, for the most part, these are B to C, unless they're selling to corporate or they're selling to commercial companies. But uh, if you're selling any kind of lead generation services or social media management, like Facebook ads or Google ads or anything like that, these are amazing industries to get into. Moving and storage, professional moving store, uh, services, storage, waste material and junk removal. What else? Kitchen remodeling, concrete foundation, architects, builders and engineers. Tons of them, guys. Garage remodels and builds and installation, 
bathroom remodeling, cabinets and countertops. Like you can create an entire agency specializing just in bathroom and kitchen remodeling, right? Landscape, yard and garden, plumbing, roofing, cabinets, siding. My parents paid a shit ton of money to get their siding redone. Swimming pools, spas and hot tubs and saunas. Tile and stone, home theater installation, right? These are interesting ones here. Countertops, walls and ceilings, windows and doors, tons of different industries here, guys. Decks, porches, and patios, big ticket stuff here, right? So this is one website you can look, homeadvisor.com. I'm looking for things that are, again, high ticket sales or a customer's worth thousands and thousands of dollars to them. Number two is owner operated business where I can get a hold of the founder, which is all these industries here. Number three, do they have the money to pay? Yes, all these industries have the money to pay because they're selling high ticket in demand services. Let's take a look at the second site here. Now this is pretty similar to Home Advisor. It's called house, H-O-U-Z-Z.com. And same deal here, right? You're gonna see these categories up here and then you're gonna see all these sub niches or sub verticals within that. Architects and building designers, home builders, kitchen and bathroom remodelers. Uh, kitchen and bathroom remodelers is hot guys. Like if you are, again, if you're in any kind of lead generation services, you, you wanna take a look at this one here. I don't see too many people going after it, but this is high ticket stuff and they need your help. People are upgrading their homes and their, their rooms and stuff all the time, right? Outdoor and garden. Decks and patios, stone pavers and concrete, fence contractors, swimming pool builders, home improvement, all similar stuff here to the last website, Home Advisor, but if you want more ideas, you can look at it here, right? So I like these because, again, these are really high ticket stuff. They're all owner operated where you can get a hold of the owner and they need your help. The third place is called ibisworld.com. And this is a pretty cool place because what happens here is you're gonna get the same deal, you're gonna see all these categories here, but you'll also be able to click into these and read more about the industry. See the trends in the industry, see if they're going up or down as an industry as a whole. Let me show you an example of what I mean. So again, I'm gonna look for something that's B2B because that's what I like. Let's take a look at something here. Um, hmm, what's gonna catch my eye? Uh, let's see. Oh, right here, concert and event promotion. That's interesting, right? These are people that have, that host big music festivals or concerts and events, and let's see how they're doing as an industry. $34 billion industry, multi-billion dollar industry, not too shabby. 78,708 businesses in the US. Do you think I can catch a small portion of that if I focused on doing it? I absolutely think so. Annual growth, 5.4% year over year growth from 2014 to 2019. And you can see everything's trending up, right? The arrows are all going up. The industry's moving up as a whole. Now, if all these arrows are pointing downward, I might scratch my head a bit, but they're all pointing up, which means that it's a healthy industry, it's growing, and it's a multi-billion dollar industry. So I might look at this, right? Now, why am I personally looking at this? Well, I have done for you LinkedIn lead generation services and these concert and event promotion companies might need to reach out to entertainment companies or media companies or news casters or whatever to promote their events, right? Uh, and that's that's easily done through LinkedIn. So I might take a look at this industry, right? Let's do, an, oh, another thing that's cool about this, what products and services make up this industry? So you can see what the hot selling products or services are that these concert and event promotion companies sell, right? So live music, live performances, theatrical, sporting events, advertising, food beverages, and merchandise, interesting there. Uh, you're gonna see this lock here because you have to pay if you wanna purchase a full report, but this is more than, more than enough for you to get information on the industry and whether you wanna get into it, okay? So let's take a look at one more here. Let's just do, cause we're on construction, let's see this. Um, remodeling, let's see how this industry is doing. $85 billion, guys, $85 billion in 2019 alone, 132,798 businesses in the, in the remodeling industry. 8% year over year growth, 470,000 people employed in this industry. So very healthy industry. You can see here operators in the remodeling industry, remodel and renovate the interiors and exteriors of residential buildings. Uh, I don't know if this includes commercial buildings as well, but if you're selling any kind of local lead gen type of stuff, Man, this is, this is as good as it gets here, right? Multi-billion dollar industry. What are they selling? What's hot? Kitchen and bathrooms, room additions, interior alterations, 
So you can go out to these companies and say, hey, do you want more kitchen remodeling jobs every month? Right? If you're going out and trying to contact these owner operators of these kitchen remodeling companies, that's what you can ask them, right? So that's an important point here. I wanna make a quick point. When you're reaching, when you pick a niche, the reason why you wanna pick it is because you're gonna learn to speak their language. And when you're reaching out to kitchen remodeling, I'm not just gonna say, hey, do you want more leads? I'm gonna say, do you want more kitchen remodeling jobs every month, right? You wanna speak in their language in terms of what they want. And that's, you're only gonna know that if you do some research on the industry. So let's see here. Let's just do one more. Let's see if mine is here, computer software. I wanna take a look at that. Oh, it's broken down into different ones here. Let's just do, eh, there's so many different, they segmented the different software. Let's just do business analytics and enterprise software. 69 billion, not too many businesses though. 3,304, 9.3%. So I might not go after this as kind of a small industry if I was only focused on business analytics and enterprise software, but we don't really discriminate. We target a lot of B2B SaaS companies. We don't discriminate based on this. So you could see there's 39 different categories for, for software here. So if you add all these up, it might be a different story, but just wanted to show you an example of how that would work. Uh, here's another site. I think it's, yeah, right here. Open secrets. There we go. Opensecrets.org. This is number four on the list. So this is just a list of different industries and sectors, a variety of different categories. And what you can do is just scroll through this list here. And I'm just gonna scroll through this list and you can do the same thing you did on Ibis World. You can take a, take a click into one of these and read about it, read on the background, read about like what the industry is about. I like Ibis World a little more for doing research on trends, but you can get a list here of some good industries that you might wanna target. Now, since again, I'm doing B2B, I'm just gonna name off the B2B industries. So what would I go after? Maybe accountants, advertising, public re relations, attorneys and law firms, broadcasters and radio TV, building materials and equipment, builders and general contractors, uh, ba -ba -ba, computer software, that's what we're into, right? Construction services, maybe for commercial companies. So if you guys are B2C, like things like dentists, where you're, you're selling to consumers and individuals, then you might take a look at this a little differently than I do, right? But uh, I'm just naming off the B2B industries for our LinkedIn services that I might target. What else we got here? Internet, maybe insurance. If you're selling to like corporate companies, lawyers and law firms. Hmm. Maybe music production, I don't know. Depending on who you're targeting there. Uh, what else we got here? Maybe sports, professional. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of different things on here you guys can look at. This is just one of the simpler ones. This is not one of my favorite on the list, uh, but it, it should give you ideas and it, it, I liked it because it gives you the ability to click in and read a little bit about these industries, right right there. Um, so that is opensecrets.org. I'll post all these links in the description, but let's go to the last place, thumbtack.com. What is this? Well, it's more of a general type of collection of industries here. You can see all these home improvement, wellness, pets, business events, lessons, crafts, design, web. Let's just click into here for the halibut. Rapid design. And you can see like the rates that people charge for these things and find professionals. So you can get an idea of these people here in the niche, right? So you can see $1,380 per logo. So I might ask this guy, hey, are you looking for more clients for your logo design? I can help you get more clients on LinkedIn, right? So this is this, this might be a good niche to go after. Uh, and you can get some ideas here, right? Every, it's all the same. There's a category and there's sub niches within that category, okay? And you wanna take a look at these and go into something that catches your eye that you're interested in and you have experience in or you're, you wanna learn more about, right? So that's the fifth place, Thumbtack Services. Now, here's how I look on, I have Sales Navigator, which is like a LinkedIn upgrade. Here's how I would look, let's just say that I'm going after event companies, right? So I might go after companies only in the United States. Let's go to industry here. We're gonna, we're gonna go after event services and we found this industry on Ibis World, right? So we got United States, we got the event industries, event services industry. We got companies with one to 200 employees 
and I'm targeting the owner of these companies, right? So it's, it's everything that I'm talking about, right? We're tar targeting multi-billion dollar industries here. I, I filtered based on like how big these companies are so that I can speak directly to the owner or decision maker. I put the industry in here, event services, and I just put United States. So there's probably companies in Australia and Canada and all these countries, the UK, outside of the US as well, right? So what I can do from here then is start contacting these people, right? I can press this here, I can connect with them, I can send them a message and see if they're interested in our LinkedIn services, right? Same thing, I can just go through this list. There's automation tools out there that you can use to help you do this. But for us, if I'm trying to contact these companies, let's just do home remodeling, for example. Um, I don't think they have an industry for home remodeling. Oh, that's the location. Let's see, remodel, no. So you'd probably have to do something like construction, right? And let's just type, I'm gonna go into keywords here and type in remodel. So we got, or kitchen or bath. There we go. So what am I doing here? I'm doing keywords, anything that has anyone's profile who has remodel or kitchen or bath in there. In, the, in their profile in the United States, in the construction industry with one to 200 employees and I wanna target the owner. So you can see these are all kitchen and bathroom modeling companies. So I might send Bill a message here and say, hey Bill, um, saw looking forward to connect as saw we share some mutual connections. This is what I typically do for the first message. I'm not pitching them or anything, right? So I might connect with them, send them an invitation, and if Bill connects, then I'll ask him, hey, we actually help home remodeling companies get more kitchen job, kitchen remodeling jobs every month. Is this something you're interested in learning more about? And we help you do this through LinkedIn, right? So that's what I would say in that second message. But what I'm trying to show you here is once I pick a niche, I just you can just jump straight into it, right? You can look in, in LinkedIn or Sales Navigator or you can find if there's enough people in the niche here. I found 12,000 owners of kitchen and bathroom modeling companies in the US alone with one to 200 employees in the construction industry, right? So I can start reaching out to these people and I can start getting on the phone with people who are interested and start closing them on our LinkedIn services. Or if you have Facebook ad services, you can do that or Google ad services, right? So I'm just trying to show you guys, it's very, there's no secret pill to picking a vertical niche or an industry and start going into it and targeting people there, right? You just gotta pick something. And the way that you do that is you can get a head start by looking at these five sites that I just showed you and validate if it's a high ticket sale, if it's owner operated, and if you if they have money, right? And we saw these are all multi-billion dollar industries here, okay? so. That's it for this video, guys. I hope this gets your brain juices flowing. I hope this gives you some ideas on different verticals and niches and industries that you can get into and you can serve. But uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, make sure you, you let me know below and give, give this video a like if you're on YouTube, okay? That's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.